Dear all, welcome to this channel, in this video, we will learn about variation analysis. This is the agenda for the video. VSA stands for Variation Analysis. This operation is performed through the Team Center Visualization Tool. Identifies dimensional problems from excessive variation early in the design cycle and reduces the need for engineering changes. With variation analysis, design flaws can be caught before committing to tooling. Users identify dimensional problems early in the design cycle, thus avoiding assembly build and quality issues resulting from excessive variation. Analyzes assemblies with thousands of parts in a graphically rich, CAD-neutral environment. With variation analysis, user can create control charts by which he can check how many percent parts are out of specification. User can perform statistical analysis. Variation analysis reduces cost by improving product quality by maximizing allowable tolerances and accelerating time to market. Let's proceed with the demo. Open the Team Center Visualization app. Click on New to create a process document. Select the appropriate units. Now we will need to import the assembly. Select the JT assembly file as shown. If the assembly is hidden, click in the circle to make it visible. Let's add process features now. Go to Quality and click on Enable VA Element. Select Plane from the options, as we want to add plane feature. Zoom in the assembly and select the entity where you want to add the feature. Here you can see the plane feature added at the end of the shaft. Add the same feature at the new place. Now we will add a point feature. Point feature added on the first plane. Whenever you add a feature it gets added to the tree. Here you can see the point feature is under the plane feature in the tree. Now we will animate the assembly. First, we will explode the assembly. It helps understand the order of assembly of the different parts. You can also check order of assembly by using plus option. Now we will give measurement. A window will appear for measurement. Give a name to the measurement. Select the type of measurement according to the process feature. Select the point feature first. Then select the plane. Keep dimension vector as it is. Click on specify limits to give upper and lower specification limit values. Keep name format short and click OK. Here you can see measurement is added. Adjust it for clear view. Now we will simulate it. Click on simulation and click on All MC Simulations, which means Monte Carlo Simulation. Right-click on it to see the process chart. The graph is marked with LSL, USL, and three sigma values. Green means those samples are under specification limit values and red means out of specification limit. There are some values given below graph. Nominal means dimension value given in the model. The average value means the mean of all sample values. Standard deviation is a measure of the amount of variation around the mean. It also shows lower and upper specification values. This also gives percent out of spec. There is one more value which is the range for percent out of spec for 95% confidence level. A confidence interval is a range around a measurement that conveys how precise the measurement is. We can also see the lowest and highest value. Click on the histogram to see only the graph. Close this and right-click on measurement. Give a check mark on the control chart and it will be visible below the measurement. Select the table, this will show values in tabular format. You can also get to see histogram in the same way. Open preferences and go to table annotations. And give a check mark to the value shown. Run the simulation again. 
right-click and select the table. Here you can see new values which we selected in preferences. This is the process to run VSA. Please visit our Team Center and NX Helpline, which is free and open to all PLM community. Here, you will get instant expert assistant, guidance, and best practices for your organization. You can also email us at mentioned email ID. We provide services to these Siemens products and also developed our own smart port application to automate issue reporting and resolution. Thank you for watching this video.